Hi everyone, today I'm talking about the Stockbroker Plus 500, which has kind of really been around mostly since 2011, since it developed its app for iPhone and took advantage of how easy it was to use or invest in stocks using the iPhone and using the app. But it has been around a little bit longer since then, since 2008, but 2011 is really when it came into its peak. And I'd say plus 500 is definitely the more strong in kind of the UK and Europe, and that's where it kind of gets the majority of its customers from. Uh, I'm going to talk about plus 500, and I'm going to do a review, uh, quite a detailed review into plus 500, and then I'll recommend if I would use plus 500 as your stock broker uh, to use to invest in stocks or ETFs or whatever um, cryptocurrencies, whatever you're looking at using, um, if you should use plus 500 for that. So. I'm going to go through the positives of uh, Plus 500 and then I'll go through the negatives um, and then I'll, I'll give you my overall opinion afterwards. Um, so Plus 500 um, is really easy to use the app, like I said. It does have a website um, and it's quite easy to use the website uh, just as it like it is to use the app. Um, the app itself is really easy to download. I think most people use it um, use the app itself um, I think they definitely have a on the app store and I think they have it on the uh, Google store as well um, it's really easy to use the tabs are really easy the colors are really easy and um, it's not clunky at all everything's very responsive when you tap on everything and um, so the app itself is actually uh, really brilliant to use um, there's a good choice of stocks there's pretty much every stock that you would look to want to own on there um, a lot of stocks from different amount of countries and um, a lot of ETFs and um, if you're not interested in stocks as well I know there's a lot of um, cryptocurrencies on there as well and um, that's one thing they've really had um, one thing to be careful of as well is that sometimes on uh, plus 500 and um, because it's a uh, contract for difference and um, which I'll talk about in a little bit is that some some of the ones that do operate on because um, you actually won't uh, own the stocks that you buy on plus 500 is that they have the right to close your positions and the re reason why this mainly came in is because a lot of people were making a lot of money um, about a year ago on um, cryptocurrencies when they first came out and that was costing them a lot of money so what they pretty much did is they put a time frame on what you could hold them cryptocurrencies and um, just so that your profits didn't get hit like insanely like amazingly um, up and the, you, they were losing loads of money and you were making money and that's one thing to be careful of is that because you don't actually own them positions they have the right to um, close your position effectively um, w without your say so that's something to be careful of. They do offer a demo account which is, I've talked a lot of, about brokers this year on this channel, um, I've talked about Zero Free Trade, they don't have a demo account but Plus500 offer a free demo account so if you are looking to get into either day trading or long, long term investing um, and you want a year practice which I would say is probably a good time frame, a year's practice on what to do, um, you can open up a, um, a demo account for free using the app and just trade on there for a little bit. Um, the demo accounts just exactly how a normal account on uh, Plus500 would work. Um, I think it's something like 35,000 that you get to use. Um, so it's really useful to get into trading as well. So the, the for me, the actual free demo account side of it is probably my favorite part of Plus500. You obviously get dividends and the dividend tab that, or notifications you get about getting dividends on Plus500 is really useful. You'll get a notification through that you've received a dividend as well. Um, which is really useful. Um, one thing that I think they've only added in in the last year is that Plus500 actually offer a economic calendar which will say key events coming up and it actually has a rating on how effective that might be to you and how much effect it might take on, on the market um, which is really cool. Um, things like companies when they're reporting numbers, um, Fed meetings for example that might move the stock market. So that's a really cool addition that I think other brokers could really pick on and add that into their um, on, on their broker's account and the charts itself is probably um I'd go as far as saying the charts on plus 500 are the best broker charts that I've ever used and um, they're actually quite useful um, and really easy to use um, compared to like free trade and zero which are a bit clunky really um, but even so the, the charts aren't um, I would still go to like Yahoo Finance to like research stocks and use their charts rather than 
um, plus 500, but they're not too bad um, for a stockbroker, to be fair, um, compared to what I, I've reviewed previously. Um, so we're going to talk about some of the negatives about plus 500. Um, so the first one is CFDs. Um, now, if you don't know what CFDs are, it means contract for difference. And basically what that means is that if you're using um, plus 500 as your stockbroker, you actually when you buy a stock on plus 500 you actually don't own that stock you are buying what is like a stock off plus 500 and plus 500 will give you either the money you make while having that position open or you would lose the money while the position is open um just like how you would if you were to own them shares but um if you were to maybe want to switch brokers, you couldn't switch brokers and transfer your shares over because, like I say, you don't actually own them. You would only have them with plus 500. Um, and that's something that um, I don't really like. If I'm buying shares in companies, I want to own shares in companies. I don't want to buy um, something that doesn't even exist. I don't even own them shares in that. Um, I own them through a company um, and it's just it's just a nightmare like for me I like to own proper shares I like to own the actual shares um, that's proper um, investing for me so I don't like that um, leverage is something that you um, have to be careful of with plus 500 they only offer margin trading or leave um, uh, leverage which you've got to be careful of leverage is something they offer or the only thing they offer they don't actually um, have a normal ratio of buying stocks uh, leverage is the only one they often so you can either get a 1 to 30 or 1 to 300 which basically means for every pound or every dollar they give you 30 and um, so um, it's basically margin trading so you can't actually buy stocks for like $200 and you spend $200 you would have to go buy a stock for like $20 and um, you would buy it like a 200 stock for $20 and um, you can't actually um, buy a stock for the actual price of actual dollars and um, which also means that you get margin trading uh, margin trading so for example you can get margin calls because of your stocks going down and um, if you want a little bit more information on margin trading go check my other videos out I've got a big detailed video on it but um, you can't so you've got to do margin trading if you're using plus plus 500 as well which is something I don't like because um, 80 i think it's 83 percent of people lose money doing margin trading um so for me um i don't do that because there's you, you you're more than likely going to lose your money um and also there's overnight fees so if you were to buy a position in apple and you held it for 24 hours you would get a fee of something like 10 pence or 10 10 dollars um uh, sorry 10 cents on that position um, so if you were to hold that for 10 days that now comes a pound or a dollar and it carries on so if you want to do long-term investing which I recommend and you use plus 500 over the course of a year two years if you hold a position you're going to have a massive amount of fees of overnight fees using plus 500 and um, which isn't great because you'd have to be massively up on your position to just cover them fees alone and um, which is a really sneaky way of them making money it's like a little hidden fee really so kind of my like overall my overall opinion on plus 500 in my opinion i don't recommend five plus 500 um mainly for the for the three reasons that i rec said right there um you don't actually own the shares um you have to deal with le uh, you have to only get leverage only stocks um which isn't great because that's you know a massive way that people lo lose money on the stock market and the overnight fees mean that you've got to pretty much be holding a positive position um, for like every stock that you own to even cover the fees. Um, even though the app is great, the demo count demo counts good. Just to use that to get used to investing. For me, um, this isn't the way to invest into stocks, so I wouldn't recommend using uh, Plus Five Hundred to buy stocks with. Um, it's this is kind of the way that you can lo you lose money is using these guys. Um, so in my opinion, I would not recommend Plus 500 as your stockbroker um, in 2019 or more than likely going forward unless they were to change these three things. Um, that's my video today talking about Plus 500, guys. Um, I hope it helped you. Um, give the video a like if it was useful. Um, subscribe. Um, we're just about nearly 300 subscribers, which is really good. So thank you for that. and I'll see you in the next video.